The Prime Minister revealed the existence of 50,000 fictitious names in the military records and subsequently scrapped the jobs and sacked several top military commanders or forced them into retirement. The Premier's crackdown and investigation started with a thorough headcount during the latest salary payment process. Such frauds have been rampant in Iraq's military since U.S. forces pulled out of the country in 2011. Despite the U.S. spending roughly $20 million training and equipping Iraq's military since its 2003 invasion, this type of corruption, seen in various forms, has helped weaken certain units and brought about their collapse. Consequently, the Islamic State militant group was able to take over large swaths of the country in June. The manner of corruption originally started small. An Iraqi officer may be allowed up to five guards. In some cases, he may send home two or three and pocket their salary. On a grander scale, brigade commanders can have had 30 to 40 soldiers stay home, or they may simply fail to report that their soldiers had either defected or had been killed in action. As this corruption grows and everyone involved wants their share, a brigade commander, to keep his job and the money coming in, becomes forced to bribe his own hierarchical superior with large sums of money, thus spreading the corruption from top to bottom. Sunday's announcement suggests new Iraqi Prime Minister Hadar al-Abadi wants to tackle the graft and patronage that prevailed under his predecessor Nuri al-Maliki. The United States is encouraging Abadi to create a leaner, more efficient military. As the Pentagon requests $1.2 billion to train and equip the Iraqi army next year, the hope is that al Abadi's attempt at integrity and efficiency in his new military leadership won't fall victim to the same antics as his predecessor.